Let's talk about what's going on <laughs> with Amazon. A little bit chaotic there as well. So apparently Amazon has pulled support for Visa credit cards in the UK. They've said that Visa cards, credit cards in particular, in the UK, the fees are too high, so they're no longer supporting them, which is a really interesting move there. Um, you've got a ton of people in the UK who are now going to be stranded without a way to make purchases on Amazon. They're going to have to find new credit providers, they're going to have to move over to a different payment process, a credit card. Um, and it's interesting to see how much, you know, uh, how much power these pay payment processes wield. Um, I, I keep saying payment processes, it's slightly different. I, I, intermediaries, I'll say. Um, because, you know, you have Visa that is kind of the gateway into Amazon for a lot of people. And as soon as that gets shut down, this centralized focal point, a whole bunch of people lose access. And uh, that's sort of this uh, theme that runs in crypto all the time is that you don't want to be trusting centralized uh, 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 points of failure. You know, if PayPal servers go down, you don't want to be lost without a way to make payments. And this idea that we ha now have these crypto networks that are up and available and uh, never go down and you never lose access. And it kind of is drawing a stark comparison, seeing all these people who are mired to Visa suddenly losing access to one of the biggest uh, stores in the world, online uh, stores. And it's, uh, I mean, I, it's interesting that Amazon is citing high fees with this. I'm glad that more merchants are realizing how high the fees are with these credit cards and that crypto can provide a much better alternative there. But at the same time, I'm not holding my breath that Amazon's going to be adding crypto crypto anytime soon. But it is kind of stepping in, in an interesting direction here that they're starting to recognize that perhaps we don't need to give everyone access to Visa. Perhaps there are other options out there. But I'll throw it to the group for your take. Uh, Zach, what's your, your take on all of this? Um, I mean, it really does, uh, I guess, illuminate some of those rumors or some of those, uh, those early steps uh, with Amazon getting into crypto that I think we saw a bit earlier this year. So it does sort of suggest that, you know, I think, I think as consumers, we're all really used to just like spending money and it being easy, but like there's all these back end processes that happen, especially when you talk about sort of cross border things that become difficult, right? Like if you're an U if you're Uber operating in, you know, Portugal or Slovenia or Japan, right? You have to have like local intermediaries that hold and, uh, and process payments for you. So it becomes difficult to be a multinational company. So I could see why some of these companies, whether it's Amazon or other, might finally wake up to the idea that, hey, maybe we, maybe we could do this on different rails in a way that is compliant and works for us and works for our customers. So um, the fact that we're seeing this out of Amazon, I think is interesting and potentially like, you know, a little bit of like pulling the curtain back on how some of that back end stuff works. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what comes to mind for me at least. But I'll throw it to Jen for her take. Yeah, so there was um, a, not a quote, but Bloomberg, Bloomberg, I guess, noted that Visa increased their interchange fees for e-commerce sites while reducing fees for education and real estate. And and that just brought me back to this conversation we have often. It's, you know, intermediaries are really deciding what's more important. What can we charge more fees for? What's more important? And, and they're not allowing the consumer or the businesses to say, like, I want to spend my money on this. You know, do you know what I mean? Am I losing you guys here? Naomi, no. you're looking confused. Okay. <laughs> and and so I think that's just like another check in, in crypto's belt. But Naomi, I wanted to ask you, you spend crypto on Amazon, don't you? Mm -hmm. I do. And, and if you are in the UK and you are looking for a way to still use Amazon now that you can't use your visa, go to purse.io because you can get up to 33% off by using Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash on there. Um, it's it's fantastic. It's honestly fantastic. It's just such a ton of money that you're saving. Um, but, it, you know, it's interesting. Uh, I, I, I wanted to, to dive into, well, I actually, no, I'll, I'll throw it back to you, Jen, because I think you had some final thoughts. Yeah. So, I mean, I, this, I think this just points towards the future. I think Amazon is looking at crypto. I don't know what, in what, way they're looking at crypto, but there are options. Um, and that's that's kind of where I want to leave it. Visa is not the be all and end all. And if you feel like you've been locked out of the biggest retailer on earth because you use your visa, there are options for you. 
I just wanted to add to your point, Jen, when you said that they never really asked the businesses. In this case, they don't really need to ask the businesses because the businesses do get to vote with their feet. And Amazon has just voted and mm -hmm. said, we do not like it. So whether or not Visa pulls back their decisions and True. changes course and says, OK, well, we want to be accepted on Amazon. This is a disaster. We are going to lose so much money if we're not accepted there. Um, they now have the opportunity to change things because Amazon holds a lot of power in this, uh, this instance. Mm -hmm. But Zach, I know you had some final thoughts. Uh, I had nothing. It was just interesting to think about Visa also <laughs> sort of, you know, with USDC and all their experimentation around crypto and stuff, right? They're thinking about this stuff too. And so some sort of nexus of the two could produce some interesting outcomes for global commerce in the future.